Well, even though it's not officially the dog days of summer, we are definitely stuck in a stagnant weather pattern for us that will be persisting through the weekend. But there is change coming as we head into next week. In fact, we may be looking at a lot of rainfall coming our way over the next uh, week and a half to two weeks once we get into early next week. Let's share to the details. It's kind of the repeat of the heat for us here in eastern Carolina. We are going to be looking at feeling like 105 to 110, maybe even 115 degrees as we go on through the next couple of days. And we do have a heat advisory in effect for today, but i got a feeling that will probably be extended all the way through the weekend. Nothing more than some isolated storms in inland spots, but there is a potential that we could have some brief heavy downpours and potentially some damaging gusty winds. Now keep in mind, there is a lot of tree debris, loose limbs kind of hanging up into the uh, trees, so any of those thunderstorms could bring some of that debris down. The pattern I said, though, does change. Less heat, more rain as we go in through next week. So, as I mentioned, the heat advisory is in effect for all of eastern Carolina, with the exception of right along the immediate beaches, just because the sea breeze front is going to keep it below the criteria for that. But basically, again, it's going to feel like 105 to 115 degrees from now through the weekend. We'll keep the Storm Track 12 threat tracker in the medium category because of that, the heat, and also the potential for some of those isolated damaging storms that will be around. 94 to 98 degrees, but the bigger number is the 105 to 110 is what it's going to feel like to your body as we go through the day today. And we're also going to be dealing with some gusty winds, especially along the beaches. Be looking at those southwesterly winds before they become southeasterly as the sea breeze front comes in on anywhere between about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Then as we head overnight tonight, warm muggy spots. The temperature's not even getting below the 80 degree range, especially along the coastal sections. Tomorrow we'll repeat it all over again, although I think a little bit better chance of making it run in some record high temperatures as we head through the day tomorrow. Just because a little bit more sunshine and slightly warmer temperatures at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere is why I think we may see some spots coming in close to 100 for tomorrow. Fell short of some records in some spots yesterday. Greenville only 93. I think the record was 99 if I remember correctly. We hit 95 though in New Bern and that was a brand new record. Now this is two Fourth of Julys in a row that we've had record setting temperatures. Last year we hit 94 degrees. That set the new record for July 4th. Now we've had it again this year. Again you see the average uh, 89 degrees. That's the hottest it, it normally is during the year. But uh, we're running anywhere between about 5 to 10 degrees above normal. As I mentioned, the records today, I don't think they're going to be in jeopardy. Uh, 104, 102 in Kinston and Washington, those are definitely going to hold. Greenville, I think that record will hold. Maybe Williamston, possibly, but I think, again, a better chance as we head on through the day tomorrow. The number, though, that you need to worry about is 105 to 110. That's what it's going to feel like when you're outside. So make sure you drink plenty of water, uh, frequent breaks, and also try to avoid the midday heat if at all possible. Also, bump that AC up. The air conditioner only works when you've got an outside and inside temperature difference of about 15 to 20 degrees. So that will help, one, save on your electric bill, but two, also help save your uh, air conditioner. Again, feeling like 105 to 110 today, muggy overnight tonight, and then we'll see the heat index is surge back into that 1.5 to 1.10 range as we head on through the day tomorrow. Now, we did have some isolated storms developed yesterday afternoon, but just as I forecasted, they dissipated by the time we hit firework time, so everything worked out well. We are tracking a little disturbance coming along in the northerly flow around this upper level ridge that potentially could touch all some isolated storms, again, inland spots this afternoon, but I think those will be few and far between. And you notice the big upper level ridge kind of holding across the eastern portion of the United States. Hardly any cloud cover out in Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Kansas. And that's where that upper level ridge is going to remain as we go into this weekend. But we are going to start to see a subtle change come our way as we head into the next week. Take a look what the jet stream looks like here. Notice how the upper level ridge kind of expands back in over us as we go in through this weekend. So we've got the heat kind of coming up through the Ohio Valley and settling in over us. But watch as we go into next week. We do start to put a little bit of a trough here coming down through the Great Lakes in the eastern United States, and that is going to bring some relief. Now, the problem is, is that it's only going to be able to get so far. So there is going to be a front coming through here as we head into early next week that will stall out across the Carolinas. Cooler, drier air to the north running into this the heat blast furnace has basically been out there with this very tropical air for the last week and a half to two weeks. And the, right along that front where it's going to stall out over us is where we're going to see the potential for some uh, pretty good rainfall. And eventually, 
because of the cloud cover, we'll get temperatures back below normal as we head into Tuesday, and especially going into Wednesday. But until then, the upper level ridge is holding tight for us here in eastern Carolina and in the Tennessee Valley as well. We'll look for temperatures to soar into the mid to upper 90s as we head in through the weekend. And then, uh, again, some spots went down if they flirt with 100 degrees. So the pattern is pretty well stuck and persistent in through Sunday. But you'll notice here we start to back the heat off as we go into Tuesday as that upper level ridge starts to come back in here. And as a result, that'll give us the chance for showers and storms, which could give us anywhere between two, maybe three inches of rainfall just by the middle of next week. So that's something we'll also need to alert you to. For the next several days, though, it is the heat. That's going to be the big deal. Future tracks showing nothing more than some isolated storms around for later on this afternoon. We'll continue with the humid conditions overnight tonight and touch off some more isolated storms as we head on in through the day tomorrow. Although I think future track kind of overdoing it with tomorrow's coverage. Uh, I think today, even though there's not going to be a whole lot of coverage out there, I think today is probably the better day of seeing some of those storms isolated about. And again, any that do form could have some brief heavy downpours and potentially some gusty winds associated with them. So the pattern kind of repeats itself through the weekend, and then we start to change things as we head into early next week. Uh, looks like right now, Tuesday into Wednesday, probably the rainiest and also the coolest. I mean, this heat wave is finally going to break. But when it breaks, it could mean a lot of rainfall for us. So keep it tuned right here. We'll continue to keep you updated. I'm Storm Track 12 Meteorologist, Les Still.